What's up you guys, this is Vinsanity, and this is Lynn. And today we're gonna be teaching you guys how to make kombucha. <laughs> I first tried kombucha about over 10 years ago. I think I was like 18, so like 12 years ago. And Dang, you're old. You're old. I tried it and I was like, this is freaking disgusting. I tried it again. I still really didn't like it. I had my friend try it and he like, he texted me a bunch of swear words. And, uh, and then I, I had Lynn try it and she didn't like it. And somehow, eventually, we found one that we liked. And now we like it. Now we love it. Fast forward several years later, here we are making our own kombucha at home, drinking it almost any time that we have it actually. And on top of that, I did my master's thesis research on kombucha and coffee. So kombucha has been a big part of our lives. So today we're gonna be making a berry kombucha. Very good for you. What you need to make some very good kombucha is... Some tea, sugar, it's goby, and some frozen berries. A container, a strainer, and some bottles. So I would suggest for your first couple batches, use some cheaper tea, just because you might mess it up. It might not turn out so great. So if you use like super expensive tea, then it's just a waste. But you wanna basically take your tea, we're gonna scoop about three tablespoons for this jar of tea. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is actually just clean the tea. Um, what I was told once by a elderly Chinese man is that uh, when people pluck the tea, like you don't know what's been done to it, they just pluck it and then you dry it. Pluck it. Maybe somebody peed on it, who knows. That's so they say. Nasty. And also like if you, any of you guys have made tea before, if you don't wash it good, it is very, very bitter. It's gonna look like you're rinsing off all the flavor, but it's just cleaning it. Transfer your tea into a container to be brewed, and then pour some hot water into it. Wow, look at that pour. Set your timer for four minutes and let it sit. Get your handy dandy little measuring cup measure about I'm gonna start with the quarter cup I never really actually measure how much I know that there's a lot of recipes out there that say to use like a full cup but I like to start light and then come in again later sugar actually feeds the bacterium that's in there SCOBY stands for symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast those things eat the sugar and turn it into something else, which is good for your body. Once the tea is done, we're gonna pour it into our strainer. Next, you're gonna wanna dissolve the sugar into your tea. And once it's all dissolved, you're gonna let it cool to room temperature. Or you can add ice into it to speed it up. So next step is we're gonna start the fermentation. So you can pour your tea into your brewing vessel. And then you take the SCOBY. This is where the magic happens. So this is like a pretty new SCOBY. So you put it on, just throw it in there. A little bit of extra. That was starter fluid. That's basically fluid from the previous batch of kombucha. What that does is that it brings the acidity to the correct level. So because this is a lot more, I think I'm gonna add a little more. This is a, one of the ones that have been brewing for quite some time now. You're gonna grab a piece of, let me just dry this off, lint-free cotton. Place it over the top, rubber band down, and bam. But you wanna make sure that the rubber band completely covers it. This first step is the what step? Aerobic. Which means? It needs oxygen, it's breathing. So I put this on here so that it could still breathe but protect it from what are the things you hate? Bugs. Bugs. Then we put it in a dark space. For how long? Anywhere from one to two weeks, but you should taste it every once in a while because it will turn 
vinegary and that's not what we want. Once that's put off to the side, it ferments for a little while and then you get this. Looks like an alien. Thing. It looks like an alien, yes. You want to taste it first? Oh yeah. You gotta do it from, oh you're kissing him, how cute. It's right at the right step because it's not overly vinegary So it literally just ate up all the sugar So now what we're gonna do is put a little more sugar in it to go into the second ferment So this is just some more tea Sweetened tea that I made throw it in there that tea helps with that extra caffeine Extra sugar gives it a little more love so that it can go into the second step of ferment So for the second ferment we're gonna add these frozen berries to our kombucha during the bottling process. Using clean hands, stick the berries into the bottle. So this second step allows for it to get carbonated and allows for it to get bubbly. First step was aerobic, second step is anaerobic where we actually, you need to use uh, bottles that you can have a tight close on it. So we have these swing top bottles. Some people just do like fruit juices. You can do whatever you want. These berries work really good. They're frozen berries from Casco. Casco. Next, we are going to pour our aerobic kombucha yeah. into our bottle. So right now I'm just putting in the kombucha into the bottle so that I can go into the second ferment. So with my berry ones, I actually stopped pretty early on in the bottle because when I first did it, remember we would do it up to here and then you would open it and it would just been how many days? Like a couple only a couple days. It's been really hot here so it fermented a lot faster than we were expecting but what well, how were you able to tell that it was done? So I looked at it and then there was like some bubbles on the top and then when I kind of shook it a little bit just a little bit of trickle tickle tickle sh bubbles came to the top so I was like it's probably done. You could burp it but then I, I wanted to save it for the video. Burping it means you open it up and release some of the air that's when you know that it's ready but i don't want to do that so we're going to open this sometimes it actually explodes but uh we'll see it's only been a couple days um maybe we should open it slowly three two what are you hiding i'm scared <laughs> three two one hey. wow whoa da -da 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 -da. Magic. And as you can see, it is very okay. foamy and crisp. Cheers! Cheers! That is amazing. Not too sweet. It's not too acidic. It's uh, <coughs> it kicks you in the throat. That is, that did not sell it. It's got just enough berry punch. First time we drank this, we said kombacha. Kumbacha. And I think we got corrected. Did we ever, did we ever call it kambacha? Uh, Kambachu? The many my, ways. My um, Cambodian friends, they call it kambuchia. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure your Cambodian friends call it that or your Vietnamese friends? Because that's how you say Cambodian and Vietnamese. Anyways, if you guys want to make your own kombucha at home, you guys can follow this recipe. Go make a friend that has a scoby that can hook you up. Uh, Come find us. We'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.